Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. Today, in this video, I am going to explain the De Morgan's theorem. There are two De Morgan's theorem, but in this video, I am going to explain only the first theorem. This theorem I will be explaining with respect to its proof which will include the boolean laws as well as the tabular proof. Now we will see what this De Morgan's theorem says. The De Morgan's theorem states that the complement of the product is equal to the addition of the complements which means that if you observe the left hand side there are two variables that is a and b which have been multiplied and a complement has been taken that should be equal to there are again two variables which have been complemented and then added so if you observe the left hand side this becomes a nand gate whereas these are nothing but two inputs which are odd so it becomes a bubble or now if i want to make a circuit statement for this uh, theorem how i will draw it First, I will draw a NAND gate. So, I have taken two inputs as A and B and a NAND gate. So, at the output, I will get my LHS that is the left hand side. And the right hand side is nothing but two inputs. So, I have taken two inputs and I have used a NOT gate to complement it. So, at the output, I will get a A bar here. And similarly, at the output, I will get a B bar here. Now, both these complemented outputs have been given to an OR gate. That means they have been added. So, at the output, I will get a A bar plus B bar. So, this becomes the circuit statement for our first theorem. Now, if I want to prove this first De Morgan's theorem, I have to prove the two complement theorem. That is nothing but A plus A bar is equal to 1 and the second one is A dot A bar is equal to 0. If I prove these both complement theorems, then we can prove this first theorem of De Morgan's. Now, I will start with the first theorem. And I will be considering my A as my RHS that is A bar plus B bar. So for A, I am replacing my A as A bar plus B bar plus as this is my A. So I have to take a complement of it. I'll show it here how I'm taking the complement that is A bar plus B bar and I have to take its complement. So I'm giving a bar over here. Now I have to solve this. This becomes A double bar. A complement to and plus operation will give you a multiplication and B double bar. Now this double bar gets cancelled and at the output I will get A dot B. So I am replacing it here that is A dot B. Now by using the distributive law I am opening this. So this is a bracket. Now A bar plus B bar plus A into a bar plus b bar plus b now as you can see here a bar plus a as i have written the theorem here or the law that is a plus a bar gives me one so this also give will give me one plus b bar into second one again it is same b bar and b so it will give me a bar plus one now what the law says any variable added with a 1 gives me a 1 only. So 1 plus b bar will give me a 1 into a bar plus 1 again will give me a 1. So my output is 1. Now if you observe this a plus a bar is equal to 1. I have proved this. Now what I have to do? I have to prove my second theorem. To get the information about the tutorials, press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification. So for the second complement theorem, again I am considering my a as my RHS. So a bar plus b bar is nothing but my a into second a bar i have already calculated my a bar here so i am taking it directly that is a dot b now again by using the distributive law i will be opening my brackets here which will give me a dot b dot a bar plus a dot b dot b bar 
Now, if you observe this a dot a bar, I have written the law here that is a dot a bar gives me a zero. So I will replace this zero dot b plus again here also b into b bar will give me a zero. So I will replace it a dot zero. Any variable multiplied by a zero will give me a zero only. So I will be replacing it here zero plus. 0 and 0 plus 0 will give me a 0. Now if you observe this, the first theorem also has been proved as well as the second theorem has been proved. So by using the Boolean laws, I can say that my LHS is equal to RHS and hence the first De Morgan's theorem has been proved. Now second is the tabular method. So I have to prove the LHS is equal to RHS by using the table method. As you can see there are two inputs. So I will be taking two columns as my input that is A and B. Next if you observe this I have a A bar here. So I am taking a A bar as my next column. Similarly I have B bar as a term. So I am taking my next column as B bar. Now what next I have? I have multiplication of A and B. So I am taking AB as my next column. Similarly, I have its complement. So AB bar is my next column. So here I will get my LHS. Similarly, what I have to do? I have to add these two columns. That is A bar plus B bar. Now what I have to show? I have to show this column is equal to this column. If the, the, both these columns get proved, then my theorem has been proved by using the tabular method. Now we will start with the inputs. As I have two inputs, the four combinations I have written 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Now what is the next column? I have to complement my first column. So I will get a A bar here. 0 complement it is 1. 0 complement it is 1. 1 complement 0. 1 complement 0. So A bar column has been done. Similarly I will write for B bar that is 1, 0, 1, 0. Now what is the next column? It is multiplication. So I have to multiply A and B that is first column and the second column. So 0 into 0 will give me a 0. 0 into 1 will give me a 0. 1 into 0 will give me a 0 and 1 into 1 will give me a 1. Now what I have to do? I have to complement this column. So 0 complement will be 1. 0 complement will be 1, again a 1 and then a 0. Similarly, my last column, I have to add these two columns. That is the third column and the fourth column. So 1 plus 1 is a 1. 1 plus 0 is a 1. 0 plus 1 is a 1. And 0 plus 0 is a 0. So if you observe this column, and this column the output is equal the which means that our LHS is equal to our RHS. Mm -hmm.